Welcome to week four of our online pottery class with the Northwest Art Center. Today we're going to make a monster toothbrush holder. So we're going to use um, the last slab of clay that you have. You want this pattern. I don't know if I wrote toothbrush holder on it, but it is the larger rectangular one. And you'll need some extra clay, your paintbrush and water bowl, cutting tool, the wooden stick, and the fork. You'll probably, you'll want the roller, and then we're going to use the uh, bottle that you have in your kit with the sleeve on it, and it should already be wrapped in paper. And mine is taped on, so I think maybe I taped all of yours on, just so they wouldn't come off. When you go to remove your bottle from the your project, you're gonna wanna take that tape off there first. And I'll, um, I'll do that later and remind you again. So that's everything we need for the project. We're gonna start with the slab of clay. And mine's a little thick on that side. Let me just fix that. You shouldn't need to do that because yours was rolled with the slab roller at the art center. I did mine freehand. Okay, so I have my pattern. I'm going to place it on my clay so I can see clay all the way around. And I'm gonna use my wooden stick and carefully cut it out, holding it steady with one hand and following the pattern. If you get some chunks of clay, you can pull those off and just stick them in your edging. And down one side. Down the other side. And across. All right, we'll pull off those edges. Keep those handy because we're going to need those later. Um, if you have a fairly big end, I don't remember. I think I just gave you enough for the pattern, so we're going to have to roll a piece for the bottom. But if you happen to have a long enough piece that your bottle will fit on there um, for later, you can keep it flat. Mine was not big enough. So I don't need my pattern. I can peel that off and set it out of the way. And then my slab of clay is going to wrap around my bottle to form the shape. So I want to make sure that I'm lining up the straight edge with the bottom of the bottle. You don't want to wrap it around the middle of the bottle because we need to put a base on. So we're going to wrap it around here. You can do it on its side or you can lift it up like this. And that's going to have a little bit of overlap, and that is where we're going to score to join our clay together. So on the inside here, you can go up this way, you can go across this way, and on the inside of this one, where they're going to touch. And then a little bit of water, on both sides, that edge and this edge. And then bringing it around so that that joins up nice and snug. Now you can leave that as an overlap if you like, or you can go ahead and I'm just flattening it down a bit, smoothing it out, getting rid of that overlap seam. And you can just smooth it. You can get just a touch of water on your finger if you need it to smooth across that seam. Notice I'm going across the seam and not just up and down. You can do a little bit of up and down to clean it, clean it up later, but mostly I'm moving the clay across and spreading it out getting it nice and even. So that's gonna be the portion where the toothpaste sits in there. 
So we need to do a base on it. So you can use your scraps or your extra clay there. And we're gonna have to roll a small circle to go on the bottom. So I've got my ball of clay and I'm gonna start just by kind of squishing it with my hand. You can do it that way or you can squeeze it in your hand this way to get it flattened. And then once it gets close to what you want, you can take your roller and kind of roll it back and forth. You might want to go a little bit in each direction. You don't want it to get too thin. So check the thickness. It can be about as thick as the original clay was. That's pretty close. And now this piece, <coughs> I'm going to set it on top here and I'm going to cut it out, leaving a little bit of extra clay around there to work up the seam. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to cut it out. Well, we did this for the box back in our very first project and just cut it a little bigger. And this would be easier if I were on a piece of newspaper so that I can turn it. I seem to always forget that step. Take that off, even though it feels like it's sticking, it won't stick once it's dry unless you come back and score it and add some water. So I'm gonna scrape the bottom of my clay there, rough it up. If you find it hard to do with your fork, you can do it with the wooden tool as well. And around the outside edge here, I don't want to scratch this part because this is going to be the inside bottom and I don't want that to be all rough. So just the outside so it matches up with the clay here and then a little bit of water all the way around and then I'm going to fit it back on here getting it centered. A little bit of pressure to make it stick and then I'm going to work this seam Again, I'm working across the seam and not just back and forth. Across the seam to move that clay up into the wall a little bit. And I like to go around the first time kind of quickly, just getting it sealed. And then I can go around again and make it nicer. You can add a little bit of roundedness to that bottom edge there as well. You can lay it on its side on the table and just kind of pulling that clay towards me as I go. Clean up that seam a little bit more. All right, so that's the part that's going to hold the toothpaste. And then you do want to pay a little bit of attention to the top here. You can clean that up a little bit more later too. You want to be careful you're not squishing this to a sharp point, but you want to keep that top fairly flat like when you cut the clay and we'll smooth it off and even at the seam there keeping it flat you don't want to be hitting a sharp edge every time you get your tube of toothpaste 
So we have the basic shape done. Now it's time to make it unique and interesting to yourself. So my plan, although you can change yours up if you like, but was to make it a monster. So we do need a way to hold the toothbrushes. I have one toothbrush here. I'll use a toothbrush and a paintbrush. So the design for this is to hold two toothbrushes, is the one I'm gonna do. But you can um, give your monster more arms if you like. But I was thinking two. So I want the toothbrushes to have something to land on at the bottom. But I may um, hold that off on that for now. And I'm gonna put the monster's arms on first. Okay. I'm gonna do mine pretty quick and then I'm gonna clean it up a bit later. But I want you to get an idea of the different body part options you can do. So first I wanna do a couple arms. So I'm gonna set this off to the side. Now, it's a monster. If you wanna make yours for more than two toothbrushes, then maybe you wanna give your monster three arms or four arms, depending on how many you would like it to hold. So I'm gonna start by squishing some clay into a ball, about that big, and then if I cut that in half, these are going to be his arms. So by starting with one piece and cutting it in half, I can get two pieces about the same thickness. Now I don't want any of these to be too, too skinny and fragile because this is something that's gonna get used. So then I'm gonna make each of these halves into a ball of clay. And then I'm gonna roll them into short coils to be the arms. So I'll start, I can make it long in my hand there. And then to make my coil on the table, I'm gonna go from the tip of my finger to the heel of my hand. And do nice long rolls like that. If I do short little rolls, I will get a flat coil. And I can stop and check it once in a while. Maybe make it, once it gets longer, you can use two hands starting at the center and going to the outside. I think that'll be long enough. So now I'm gonna make my second one to be about the same thickness of that before I attach it. 